Hello, today we will talk how to combine uh, opaque behaviors, reusable uh, behaviors in activity diagram and also with the block diagram in context of simulation. So first of all, we can create opaque behavior, create uh, element, uh, opaque behavior. So this is like reusable behavior. So let's say do math, right? And then it can be parameterized. So we say that it will have input parameter, let's say, x of type integer i choose uh, from sysml types uh, and then there will be another type uh, parameter uh, and i can also do direction change out uh, y of type uh, integer so i have now two parameters and we see here direction was recognized correctly you see here just by typing now I can add this opaque behavior into activity diagram and make it execution of that uh, activity diagram. Here you see I added it, but as you can imagine, there is no logic inside. I double click on opaque behavior and here body and language, I can type uh, uh, y equal x plus 10, plus 10. So whatever I will send as x, it will produce plus 10 y. So now how to add the uh, inputs, I can just take it and uh, do like opaque action. This is which is not reusable. That's the difference between opaque action and opaque behavior. But I can type the logic here. So like a equal, uh, you know, like uh, five and then output uh, a. So this is the runtime parameter, right? And I can connect that uh, to X and it takes the type you see of the pin, uh, here is the type, here is this, um, this one, you see type integer also because that was integer. And then I can output, uh, again I'm using opaque behavior, print uh, b, let's say b is the output and here is the input and I say this one will be b. All integers, so now let's run this one, run. So we see 15, right? So correctly, right? Because it was uh, 5 plus 10. If I change this like to 50, it will be 60. Answer, right? 60. Now um, I can do the circle here. I can say after this, you know, or even in this place, right? I can say like uh, here, uh, make, uh, you know, uh, a equal um, b multiply 2 so it will uh, multiply z as an output so here I have output as a z and then I can add this one here I do the merge here and then I will merge here so here you have now feedback loop it comes back after this one and uh, it updates the z and then goes back here so let's run this one it's clean okay 60 130 and then we can increase the speed uh, even more Okay, now we can add a structure like block. So create element block system here. And uh, I will move my behavior inside like this model, the whole diagram, right? This whole diagram, this one into that block. So now this block, open the specification of the block in the expert mode. I see that this block treats this behavior not only as zone but also as classifier behavior that means that it will run it automatically and I want that it would read the A property and they do the math so say that uh, actually it will read the capital A right uh, property which will be actually stored here so let's say create element value property will be capital A integer Okay, and now it will store result uh, 
into capital B property B equals Z so this will be result right and then I will create a the property b integer integer okay so now i have values coming from block and here i can specify the default value in the value properties like say like here will be like a two and here i don't have right because it is the input so now i will run this whole block right click on the block uh, simulation run and you see input is 2 and b we will get after each uh, you see 2 is coming 12 is result and then it's going back and then you see b is updated see we have the result now we can create uh, so now we get values from actually block now we can create instances of that block so i will create an instance table instance table and I will put this as a classifier here. I will choose create the variance of this system. And then here I will be inputs like 5, 10, 15, 25. And here will be results. So I can solve actually all of the inputs based on the behavior and get result. I don't want that circle here because it will kind of not stop. So you see how simple is that I just remove that, you know, circle and I have this here start. Let's say I can properly modify that to show start and final notes. Activate the final note. Those are not must because like if action has no inputs, opic action has no inputs or any action has no inputs, it will be first execu to execute. That's why I know that it's the first one to execute. But in any case, this is good just practice to have that. And now I will run all of them as an instance table. So you see run with behavior. So run it. Done. That's the result. So that was the way how to model uh, reusable behavior so you see opaque behavior reusable which you can model with the logic inside you see this is the math and selected uh, uh, i can choose here about the language in selected uh, language you see different languages are supported python jiton uh, javascript groovy and then i can parameterize it to drag it to action activity diagram input values use it in the block if I want and then even we have the instances as alternative values to see the result so that was short course you know how to connect uh, how to start modeling behavior and connect to the structure thank you